Could you actually replace your gas generator with a battery powered unit? Well, the answer is yes, if it's one of these. This is EcoFlow's brand new Delta Pro, and this is nothing short of revolutionary. It's not only the most powerful, it's easily the most versatile unit you can buy today. Now, of course you can charge things like computers and phones, but that's nothing. This can be built into a vehicle with a remote display. You can power 240 volt applications finally in your house, giving you true backup power. And you can start off with just one of these, but if you buy a second, they connect together and it doubles the output to a staggering 7200 watts. And you can charge this via solar at home, but how about an electric vehicle charging station if you're on the road and maybe you're using one of these in your RV? You can now charge this at up to 3000 watts for ultra quick charging. And the power output from the Delta Pro is truly unbelievable. Two pressure washers off of a single unit and you can add additional batteries, and they've increased the solar input to 1200 watts and come up with a brand new panel that's 400 watts each. And the unit looks good on the outside, but inside they're now using lithium iron phosphate batteries. These will give you some of the longest lifespans that you won't have to worry about changing batteries anytime in the near future. But the best feature of all is that the unit is 93% efficient. That means you're gonna get more usable power for your money. Here's the biggest game changing feature in the industry. No one has ever been able to deliver a working 240 volt adapter so that you can power things just like your gas generator. Now this is my Honda and this 240 volt is a lifesaver because this allows you to connect up into your house. Now you can run things like a well pump, a heater and much larger loads. Now outside I've already got the 240 volt plug so I'm going to connect this up just like I would a gasoline generator and see what it could do. And to use 240 volt does require two Delta Pros, but this also doubles the amount of power you can output, bringing it to a full 7200 watts. Now this thing is really simple to connect. Use the smart port on both of the Delta Pros, and now you're ready to connect it up to your house just like you would a gas generator. When I plugged them in, I heard a different kind of beep, and when I looked at the screen, you can see this small icon indicating that you're ready for 240 volt power use. So I went ahead into my house and now I switched off this thing called an interlock. What I'm doing is I'm switching off my main breaker so I'm cutting my house off from street power. Now once I do that, that small silver plate can be lifted up and that circuit breaker on the top is connected to that outlet outside of my house. And with the breaker in the on position, you could see the lights turn on because now those Delta Pros are running all the electrical loads in my house. But I wanted a real 240 volt test and for that, I wanted to try out my well pump. I opened up a bunch of faucets to let the water run and in just a few seconds, that click means that my pump's turning on and it's working just fine to repressurize the tank. But now for the biggest 240 volt test you can get, an electric dryer. These things are notorious. They use over 5,000 watts of power. I turned it on and hit the button and I wasn't sure what would happen. And to my surprise, the Deltas ran this thing just fine. You can see by the display, each one of these is putting out a huge amount of power. Now this isn't something you're generally gonna really need during an emergency, but this is a perfect test to show that these devices could truly output 240 volt power and a massive amount of juice without any kind of problems. Other companies don't always think about the customer and a feature like this is something you'll appreciate every time you use it. These things can be heavy and they've integrated a hidden built-in trolley system, so now it's easy to move this thing anywhere you need to. And here's a comparison to give you an idea of the size. When I put it next to the Honda EU 2200i, it's pretty incredible that the Delta Pro is basically the same size, but it puts out twice the amount of wattage. And with a gas generator, when you're having a storm, you're gonna have to put it outside, but when you use a battery unit, that never is a concern at all because you're gonna run it inside your house. Now this unit is equipped with all the major power outlets. You've got four 20 amp, 120 volt plugs, along with a 30 amp RV plug. But then when you open this hidden side panel, you've got a whole array of different ports that allow you to connect into things like cigarette chargers, DC ports, and even a remote control that I'll show you later in the video. Another great feature is to charge it up. You can use just a simple cord like this. You don't have any type of charging bricks that you'll find on other competitors' devices. These things are a pain. They can have fans and make noise. And with the Delta Pro, you won't be spending a whole lot of time charging because once you plug it in using a regular cord, you can charge it from zero to 100% in just 2.7 hours. No other device made can charge anywhere near that quickly. And of course, you've got all the regular USB ports. There are 100 watt USB-Cs, but charging it at home is just one way you can do it. You can also use their brand new smart port and you can charge this thing from an electrical vehicle charging station. Now there are almost 40,000 of these across the country and many people will take this when they travel in an RV and now you can supercharge this thing in record time. 
And to test it out, I took the Delta Pro to a charging station and plugged it in using the adapter. Now many of these charging stations are actually free to use. There was a government program a number of years ago, and if you check out on the internet for free charging stations, you might be surprised to find out that your local town hall might actually have one. I plugged it in, and within seconds it just connected up and started charging. And the specs say it can charge it up to 3,000 watts of input, but that's going to be dependent on the charging station you're at. But I was still getting 2,300 watts, and I was going to be charged up in no time. You can also charge it for free using the power of the sun and their brand new solar input that's been boosted to 1,200 watts maximum. But they also release these brand new panels. Each of these is a flexible folding panel that can put up 400 watts each. And using them is super easy, you just connect each of the panels into one another, and then a simple cable plugs into the back of the EcoFlow Delta Pro, and now you're charging the unit up using the sun. And no panel will ever give you the full wattage that they're rated for, but here I was getting about 700 to 750 watts, and I could charge this unit up in just about 3 hours. And if I took a bit more time to prop the panels up or point them towards the sun better, I probably could have got a higher rating. Now the next test, I wanted to make sure I could use power while I was charging the thing up. So to do that, I connected a full-size air conditioner that's about 5,000 BTUs to the Delta Pro. And I had no problems at all. The air conditioner powered up fine, and I was using power while I was charging it up with the solar panels. The thing I love about the design is it's an all-in-one unit, but it's also modular. So you get in the best of both worlds, and if you're in a rush, you can just grab the single unit. But you can also purchase extra batteries. A single Delta Pro has a 3600 watt hour battery, and that's a lot of juice, but if you want to run things for a longer period of time, these smart batteries plug right into the back of the main unit, tripling your amount of runtime. And there's no program in a crazy setup, you just plug the batteries in and the Delta Pro figures everything out. And if you're charging it up via the sun, it'll distribute the power so that all three batteries get charged automatically and it stops as soon as they're done. Now when you're having bad weather, it's going to be something like this, and you're obviously not going to put your Delta Pro outside, and generally gas generators aren't meant to be run in the rain either. So you'd purchase a set of extension cables, and this will allow you to put those solar panels outside anytime you want. Now here I just ran the cords under my garage door, and because the panels are weatherproof, I can keep the Delta Pro inside while I'm charging it from the sun outside. And even on a pretty crappy day like this, I was still able to get just over 100 watts. Now that's just using a single panel, and that's not going to keep you going forever, but if you're in an outage or a bad storm, any amount of power that you can get for charging is always going to be appreciated. If you want to build one of these units into a van or an RV, or maybe even a boat, well one of the problems is you can't see the display. But now you can use this optional port for a remote control and display. It uses a regular computer cord and it looks like a network jack, but it actually gives you a complete display on this screen that you can put just about anywhere. So if you're building this in a vehicle, this is pretty amazing because you can actually turn it off and on and control the outlets. Now pressure washers are notorious for tripping your circuit breaker in your house, so I didn't just connect one. I plugged in two pressure washers to the Delta Pro and I started off with this small green one. And you can see this little one uses about 850 watts of power with a startup draw that's obviously going to be higher. But now it was time for the big one. This German-made Kosher uses almost 2,000 watts of power. Now remember, both of these are plugged into the Delta Pro. And you can see by the expression on my face, I was pretty amazed that these things were just working. And I didn't even run them continuously. I kept starting and stopping them to see if the Delta would have any problems. And there were no issues at all. And you can see the power was around 2,800 watts. But you don't even have to look at the display, you can use their included free app. And this thing tells you everything and allows you to control the unit. You can control the screen brightness, update firmware, even see exactly what USB port is drawing power. And with the single unit, they say you can run 3600 watts, so I wanted to test it out. So I connected up a shop vac that uses 1100 watts of power, a heat gun that uses 1700, and this small heater that can use either 800 or 1300 watts of juice. So I plugged them in, I put the heater on the middle position, and I got it as close to 3600 watts as I could. And that's the maximum running wattage for this device, and I ran it for over a half an hour with no problems at all. In fact, it was just like I was plugged into my wall outlet. I also used my Tektronix to confirm that this unit is in fact putting out pure sine wave power and to check the voltage and frequency and harmonic distortion. These numbers are all excellent and it had pure sine wave power as I expected. The efficiency test is going to tell you how honest and well designed a unit is. Now this particular one advertises 3600 watt hours of running time. 
And that's what sets different companies' products apart. And when I completed the Delta Pro's test, I was absolutely blown away. It came in with a 93% efficiency rating. And compared to other competitors like Bluetti, I've gotten readings between 72 and 86%. That's a huge difference and any power that you lose is runtime you're not going to get. There is no other product on the market or advertised that can even come close to what this thing has to offer. And they are releasing this as a Kickstarter campaign, but EcoFlow did the same thing two years ago and they delivered exactly what they promised. People get an introductory price that's a lot less than retail and you get in early to get one of these as soon as they're released. And if you're looking for a unit that could truly replace a gas generator, this is definitely one to consider. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.